Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vesti here, coming at you with a video. So today we're gonna be talking about this kid, and he says he is an absolute savage, and I think that Dr. Phil's definitely gonna set him straight, so let's take a look. My strategy is I'm just gonna full send it and like live my life like a party, and like, yeah, just make it in life, you know? No, I don't know, explain to me. I just film savage stuff and like it gets views and goes viral all right so i'm just gonna go off and see real quick i don't think i have ever seen one of this kid's videos before dr phil so i don't know what he's talking about by viral because i've definitely never seen him so the only thing you're going viral for buddy is being on dr phil so your theory is that you do things that <laughs> are at other people's expense and you think that's funny i mean there's a certain limit that i'll stop i'm not just gonna like avoid all like rules i listen to some rules so later on in the video you're gonna understand why this kid does not listen to any rules like you're gonna hear about some of the stuff he does and this is just a flat out just lie like i i mean i was a teenager i mean i still am a teenager and i do stupid stuff and stupid shit but this kid is on a whole different level just check it out explain savage yeah. stuff to me i'm not very smart you'll have to help me out here savage stuff something savage probably like Yo, does he actually believe that he's like funny? Because this is just idiotic. This is so stupid that I, I honestly, I, I don't even have words for him. I mean, he literally just bought a Halloween mask, cut off the eyes as you, I mean, like there's no like middle to the nose and then proceed to try to mock Dr. Phil. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Let's not forget, this is your show, but this is my episode. Let's not forget that. Be an individual. You sound <laughs> like a clone. Seriously, do you How not have a- How about that? How about that? Why do you mimic other people? Do you not have a personality of your own? I do, I do. So here's another one of those lies. Like imagine coming onto the Dr. Phil show and mimicking somebody who got famous on Dr. Phil and you think that you're going to get famous by mimicking her. Like, it's just so stupid. This kid just, I literally lose brain cells watching this. It's, it's bad. Well, it's interesting to me because I wonder if the people that you're trying to get to follow you have really taken stock of the things that you do and who you are. Cause I made a list of those things and it, it's interesting to me cause these seem like not very becoming behaviors. Dude, the first thing on the list and the first thing on the bullet points is abusing women. And you're telling me that you're a charming young man who doesn't, you know, bully, doesn't lie, anything like that. Get fucking real. This literally just, it, this really just grinds my gears. This, this is what bothers me, especially about our generation, is kids doing this whole, like, oh, I'm a savage TikTok craze and always trying to be like boom gang. And nobody's going to come close to that at all. And it's not funny. It's not even like funny stuff. Like as you're, you're gonna see, it, it's the shit's just not even funny. Like I don't know where he gets this stuff from. Like abusing women. You I do wrestle, not abuse women. You wrestle your mother. You've grabbed your mother's crotch. You pretend to hit her. You've hit a girl in the face with a dodgeball on purpose. You've shot needles at your sister. You've abused elderly people. You stole an elderly man's golf cart. I mean, that seems to me to be abusive behavior to women and elderly people. I don't understand how that's funny. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we just go back to the fact that the second bullet on there was grabbing your mom's crotch? Like, what the actual fuck goes through this kid's brain? Grabbing your mom's crotch. Like, I don't even, I don't even see my mom. Like, I don't even visit her, let alone grab her crotch. Like, I would never, oh, um, <laughs> I'm just, this is so fucked up in so many ways. This kid is just an absolute waste. First of all, I do not abuse women. I would never hit a girl. And uh, second of all, I went to reach in her pocket and she says I grabbed her crotch. I went to grab her, I went to go in her pocket. You also steal and betray your own family. You've stolen a thousand dollars from your mother. You stole her car and wrecked it. You've stolen $600 from your own brother. 
Yeah, because that sounds extremely plausible. If I were, if I go out on the street and I get on a fucking bus or something and I go to grab something out of somebody's pocket, no, I'm getting hit for sexual assault. It's that simple. And then the fact that he literally steals his brother's money. Now, you guys aren't going to see this, uh, but his brother is basically like this hardworking kid. I mean, he's the same age. He's a little chubby, but this kid absolutely terrorizes his brother. And his brother's just out here, you know, going to school, doing, you know, doing his job, making money, stuff like that. And this kid is just just fucking that all up for him yo real quick guys if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that sub button join the uwu family um my discord is linked below make sure you guys go into there i post everything in there all my updates everything like that and make sure you check out my twitch which is a twitch.tv slash vesti uwu i try to stream almost every day but yeah so let's continue no, I steal. I steal hearts. I steal girls' hearts. I steal all that. I'm a savage. And I'm a ladies' man. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and you bully and humiliate other people like your brother, right? Yo, Dr. Phil's face was just the complete face of disgust. He was, oh, oh my gosh, stealing hearts, too. This kid literally said that he's stealing hearts. What hearts are you stealing? Because if you were stealing hearts, you probably wouldn't be on the Dr. Phil show. You probably could be going and getting pussy somewhere else because there's no reason to do any of this. You're not stealing hearts. You're not stealing anything. No girl is going to want to ever go out with you. You're, oh my gosh. I don't bully. I, I stand against bullying 100%. Really? And people in my hometown know that too. I get bullied myself. I get bullied every day. But I just say f the haters, you know? I, I don't bully my family, no. Well, you've beat your brother until the cops were called. You throw a bucket no, of water on him. You've thrown right. and dumped milk on him. What the actual fuck? Like, I'm all for, you know what I mean, a prank every now and then. But throwing a bucket of water and a bucket of milk on your brother while he's sleeping and in his bed is just crossing the line. And how do you how do you even deny beating your brother so badly, basically, that the cops had to be called on you? Like, how shit of a human being do you have to be? Like, it's just, it, you're, it's sad. It's really fucking sad. Is that your strategy? Savage. I'm just asking if that's what you call being savage. No, people like what they see. So if they ask you to do something on like on TikTok, I ask people like like most like comment, I'll do it in the next video. I listen to my fans. I listen to my fans. That's not only an excuse, but you're sitting here, okay, you're listening to people on the internet where they literally have a shield of anonymity and you're just going to listen to what they're saying of course they're gonna say stupid shit like that but it doesn't mean you actually do it like has have his parents just not taught him about the dangers of the internet did he never you know have that school presentation because i i, I just don't understand how you can sit here and say that it's okay to listen to random fucking people on the internet telling you basically to abuse your brother okay so you'll call a woman on the phone and make vile comments to her to get attention to yourself yes because they told me to do it it was the most like comment i'm a man of my word i'm gonna do it all right i think this is about all i can handle of this kid for the day so it just it blows my fucking mind just calling a woman on the phone and he said i'm a man of my word yeah okay buddy well the man of your word's gonna get you literally locked up so have fun with that but guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting here pretty regularly. Um, you know, this is my first real video. So, you know, let me know what I can improve on. Give me some suggestions. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Peace, guys.